Hey guys, it is Jess with Watch Kitty Shrink, and I thought I would finally come on here and do a real update for you all. Um, it's been a hot minute. I've kind of grazed over this, but I have a few minutes, so I thought I'd do a real update. Um, this update's going to talk about Regain and what I'm doing about it. So let's just break it down. My name is Jess. I'm 31 years old. I'm five foot three, and um, I've just completely forgot my spill. My highest weight ever was in April of 2016, and it was 285.0. In August of 2016, August 23rd, 2016, I had a weight loss surgery procedure called vertical sleeve gastrectomy. At that time, I was 255 pounds, 255.4. My lowest weight ever seen in this journey was in April of 2018, and it was 140.9. My body actually stayed around 144 for... Um, probably eight or nine months and the last little bit I have been dealing with some regain my highest regain weight was at the beginning of April 2019 and it was 159.6 I think and my current weight is 156.1 so I did lose three pounds in um, five days which I'm really proud of so basically what I'm doing is just super simple um, I've cut out my snacking because my snacking had seriously started becoming a problem. Um, it was like probably 90% of my food was snacking and then very little was actual real foods. Now by snacking, I do mean snacks that fit into my lifestyle. Um, Y'all know I do the keto lifestyle. These were keto approved snacks and I never actually went over my carbs, but I allow myself 20 net carbs a day and I would say 18 of them came from snacks. So it was just becoming a problem. Yes, they are okay in moderation, but I'm not super great at moderation. So I have went on a um, no keto treat and no artificial sweeteners kick for the last two weeks. Um, in the first five days of that, like I said, I lost three pounds. Um, I'm still in it right now, but I already feel like I'm back in control. I don't feel that out of control, oh my God, I have to have a snack feeling. Um, I'm still having some kind of snack in between my meals, but it's like um, almonds or a pepperoni stick or some kind of actual food as opposed to um, basically a sweet kind of alternative. Now, all of the sweets that you all have seen me eat before, I'm not saying those are wrong. I'm just saying I personally was going through something. My anxiety had been up and I was abusing it. So, I don't plan to stay away from those forever, but I will get back to having those as a treat. Um, yeah, I'm already feeling much better. Mentally, I feel much more in control than I have in a very long time. Um, this morning, I did have a little bit of artificial sweetener because I did have um, a protein shake. And I have noticed, huh, like shocking, like bariatric surgeons tell us this or something. But when I have a protein shake, I'm not feeling so snacky and munchy through the rest of the day. Um, so what I usually have is a shot of espresso over ice from Starbucks, and then I add um, a GNC lean shake and cookie butter. Um, I've just been eating like my regular meals, my regular keto meals, but I'm back to having real food, real meats, um, adding a little bit more protein because I'd gotten kind of low on my protein and having at least one vegetable a day which I know doesn't sound like a lot but when you're keto you can get away with not having any if you want um, and again because my eating habits I don't know how to say it but there's keto and then there's eating if it fits into my macros and both of those things you need to have self-control with the snacking and I wasn't doing that so um, yeah, I could get away with not having vegetables, but I am trying to have at least one vegetable a day, and that's making me feel a lot better. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not doing anything like crazy, just doing the things that I know how to do, getting back to basics, focusing on protein and water, keeping those carbs super low, of course. Um, the funny thing is, is when I'm on point with keto, I never even get close to 20 net carbs. I usually stay around between 8 and 12, depending on the day. Um, low carb has always been easy for me. Well, I mean, for the last three years, it's been easy for me. That's always been the um, kind of lifestyle that I want to lead. But 
I don't know guys, just getting some of that out of my system has really gave me a lot of mental clarity. It's gave me a lot of motivation to keep going. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm also been exercising a lot more, so that's making me feel good. Now next week I actually have to travel for work. I will be gone Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I'm hoping that doesn't derail me. I won't be meal prepping but because I'll be eating out, but I'll be staying keto. That's never been a problem for me. Um, but I will have to have, as a backup, like some protein bars and stuff. Or maybe I'll take shakes instead. I don't know. But I'm hoping I don't get derailed if I have to slide off track just a little bit. I'll definitely be out of my exercise routine for those three days. <clears throat> and then, um, at the end of May, I will be with my family again. The girls who I um, posted that Dollar Tree haul with. Do y'all want to see some more videos with them? We were thinking about doing, um, they've got a thing called the Scratch and Dent, which is like, they've tried to describe it to me. I've never heard of it, but it's like, say a store sells Atkins bars and those Atkins bars fall off the shelf and the box is all bent but the product's fine <clears throat> they give it to the scratch and dent and they sell it at a discounted price so I will hang on sorry guys I'm getting a text okay um I need to go and answer that but yeah so everything is going pretty good now I was struggling with the regain I wanted to come on here and kind of give you all the numbers let you all know that they are coming down I'm not doing anything drastic and yeah I really love you guys I miss being on YouTube a lot and as I hope you can see I'm trying to get on here a lot more often bye guys <laughs>